We've done a few meditations together, but I'll remind you that you can do meditations for all kinds of reasons. One of those reasons is to feel calm. Another is to clear your mind. Some like to use their imaginations during meditations to listen to the universe and see what they might discover while they're sitting still. Today, you and I are going to use our imaginations together to see what it's like to be a flower. Remember, I've told you that everything is made up of energy, including our thoughts and feelings, and that we all vibrate on different frequencies and levels. Well, when you take the time to meditate, you change your vibration, which means you change the way the universe sees you and hears you and the things it brings to you. When you're angry, confused, or sad, you feel very differently than when you're happy, confident, or calm. You vibrate very differently when you're mad than when you're happy. And sometimes when you're feeling angry or sad, it's hard to stop feeling that way. But the more you practice feeling good, the easier it is to feel that way again even more quickly, even during those times when you do feel sad or mad. So here's what we're going to do. Make sure you're sitting down and that you're comfortable. If you can, I want you to cross your legs under you, like I'm doing, and then rest your arms on your legs. Whatever feels comfortable to you. You feel better with your legs out in front of you or tucked underneath you, it really doesn't matter. I want you to sit up straight though so the air in your lungs can get in and out as easily as possible. That's it, you got it. You can keep your eyes open or you can close them, whatever feels good to you. Now just relax and listen to me and follow along. Although there are an awful lot of flowers to pick from, today we're all going to practice being an orange daisy together. I have some in my yard here at the Glitter Dome because they're orange and match the element of fire, I have them on the south side of our house. I never used to like flowers, if you want to know the truth, but now that I'm growing so many of them, I began to really enjoy having them around. And for me, the color orange represents or matches happiness, joy, and laughter. So every time I see the orange daisies in my yard, I can't help but to smile and feel good. And feeling good is what we're doing here today. So. Let's start by breathing in through your nose, one, two, three, and out through your mouth, one, two, three, again, and out, one more time, in, two, three, out, two, three, now picture yourself as an orange daisy out in the meadow somewhere surrounded by other orange daisies. It's a nice place to be. It's a safe place to be. The sun is shining, but it's not too hot. The breeze is blowing, but not too much. Breathe in. One, two, three, and out. One, two, three. Feel the shape of your face without moving your hands. It's round now, just like the center of a daisy is. It's soft, and yellow and round. Can you use your imagination to feel the orange petals surrounding your face? Do you know how many there are? Oh, there are a lot of petals. They're soft and beautiful and strong all the way around your face. And if you really had that many petals, your head would probably feel very heavy. Breathe in, two, three, and out. Two, three. So, your neck and body must be very strong. Make sure you're sitting up nice and straight, just like a flower would be. Your arms are your leaves. They catch the rays of the sun, which help you to grow. Spread your arms and your fingers and feel the sun on your hands. Flowers need the sun to live and grow, you know. Not too hot, though, or you might shrivel up instead. Imagine you can feel the sun overhead shining down on you. Soak up all the sun you can because it's a beautiful day. Breathe the sun in, two, three, and out, two, three. Now listen. Hold still and just listen for a moment or two. Can you hear all the life around you? Maybe a ladybug is nearby 
or a grasshopper? Can you hear the breeze as it blows gently on your face and around all those orange petals? You're way down on the ground, in the ground. Can you hear differently than when you're standing up? The grass surrounding you is full of life. Can you hear all the bugs and worms and beetles as they go on about their lives all around you? Be still and listen. What do you hear? Breathe in and listen. Two, three, and out. Two, three. Your roots reach down into the ground, into the soil and sand. It's cooler in the dirt than it is above the ground. Can you feel how cool the dirt is? The soil is wetter in the earth where your roots are than above the ground where your leaves are. Can you feel the water? Can you reach out with your toes and your roots for the water that gives you life? Does it make you tingle when you think of touching the water with your roots? Can you drink it up through your roots and bring it into your stem? Suck it in. Two, three, and out. Two, three. Now just be still and feel each part of you, your yellow face, your orange petals, Feel your long stem as it reaches all the way down into the ground. Feel your long, thin roots buried in the rich, life-giving dirt. Feel your leaves as they spread out to catch the sun. What a wonderful day to be an orange daisy. Breathe in, two, three, and out, two, three. Now, if you have closed your eyes, it's time to open them again. Breathe in, two, three, wiggle your fingers, breathe out, two, three, feel yourself as yourself, breathe in, two, three, see your arms and your legs, breathe out, two, three, breathe in again, Breathe out again. Touch your face and smile. You can do this anytime you want to. Imagine yourself as any kind of flower at all. Since we're orange daisies today, you should really feel good. And so now, speaking of feeling good, it's time to honor Rupert's birthday once more with a very special friend of Rupert by the name of S.J. Tucker. She's a famous and most fabulous singer of delightfully enchanting songs, including one in which she sang just for our show today called Rabbit's Song. So let's listen.